This is your Hollywood maintenance skin. I'm going to show you guys how to put these GE washers into diagnostics mode. Here in the, and here is the model number. All right. And it says, have it on off. Unplug this approximately 30 seconds. I already did that, so I'm going to plug it back in. And then on this particular model, you hit signal, rinse, signal, rinse. Now you're in diagnostics mode. Then you press enter, which is start basically. And it's going through all that stuff. Telling you, okay, everything's fine. It's the software stuff. Then you hit power, and it goes back to that. You turn the knob. TO2 is error codes. Okay, after you do that, you press this one again. E00 means this washer has no codes. If something displays, um, it will show up in, of course, in your text sheet on the back it will tell you what each code is so you know what's wrong with your washer um then you hit power again then you go to the next step t3 t3 is the interface now it's going through all of it make sure every all the displays are working etc um you can hit power again you could turn the knob there's nine we're at four on this one, you press enter, it will say to you, the soil button is the cold water coming in. As you can hear that. Press soil button again, that's off. The temp button is hot water coming in. Press the temp button again. We know the hot water valve is working. It will shut it off when you press it again. The spin is for the bleach. That means the water is coming in the bleach. As you can see, it is in here. See, we got the hot, uh, softener, the bleach, all that good stuff. I see it going in the bleach. Press it again. And then you press the signal button that says it's turn on the bleach valve, cold water valve together, which we'll do right now. As you can see in there, it's filling up with water like it's supposed to. Once again, hit the signal button again. We're off. You hit power so we can get back to the knob. Now it's going to drain a little bit. Get the water out that we already put in there, which isn't much. Let it do its thing. Then we should go back to the T4 around there. There it is, turn the knob, go to T5, and we're gonna test the water level sensor test. We press enter again, there it goes, it's gonna test the level sensor. We'll let it go. Also, uh, uh, since I already tested this, I just wanted to show you. I already know that this is okay uh, on the water level sensor. So once again, I'll press power. Now the water's gonna drain out. I'm just gonna try to hurry this video along. 
this water will fill up and once it reaches its height that it's supposed to, it will stop, do its thing. You guys can test that all the way to the end just to make sure everything's working correctly. Um, then it should go back to the T5 after the water pumps out. And then T6 was the, the drain pump test, which will turn it again to the right. P is for pump. Obviously it's working, because we heard it the last couple cycles. I don't even know why we would need to test that, other than if it's making a weird noise, you know to change it. Hit the power button. Seven is the heater and thermistor test. You would hit enter. This right here is going to test the water, how cold it is. It's going to heat it up and uh, go from there. doing this thing, which I know is fine. Um, I'm going to hit the power button again and drain the water. I'm just doing all this testing. I know it would be 100% but to do its thing. I'm just trying to hurry this video along. I'm trying to keep it under 10 minutes. T7. T8 is the tumble test. As you can see, see it's tumbling. That's what TT stands for, tumble test. As you can see, it's, it just tumbles the clothes. It's not spin cycle. Then I would hit this again. Now we go to the last one which would be the spin test. Did you see? It's getting higher. It's doing good. Looks like we're at where it's going to be. Hit the power again. And we're back to T9. Let's just enter, exit the service mode. Hit the power button. Back to good. It doesn't do step by step on these GE. On GE, you have to do step by step manually. You just can't go and you'll do like the whirlpools. Alright, well thanks for watching my video, like and subscribe.